gods and goddesses in training welcome back to the channel it is uncle makura all relations i am in sarnath varanasi and currently i'm in this little homestay it's about to rain but it is what it is so i wanted to speak to you guys about how to reverse yourself out of a re very negative situation okay wherever it is you are right now wherever it is in the world that you are right now i want you to know that you are safe that things are going to get better the things are always on an upward spiral okay this is a mentality that has saved my life okay the upward spiral gang is a mentality that helped me to keep going putting one foot in front of the next looking at the small wins and eventually stacking into this kaizen mentality that got me all the things that i have today okay so i'm speaking to the younger version of me who might be struggling right now wants to find their spiritual path but everything that they hear is so sidetracking them, you know, P putting them on so many side quests and not, they're not really getting the results that they're setting out for themselves, right? I spent a lot of my life just yo-yo dieting, yo-yo exercising, yo-yo video watching on YouTube, okay? Flipping from one coach to the next rather than actually understanding that there's a benefit to exploring who you are and what you are here to do your purpose but your purpose only starts from you being curious as curious as a child in awe of a specific discipline or subject not one that's forced on you right not one that your teacher says that you have to study uh, the way the parabolas work or whatever right you have to find that thing that you're truly passionate about, but that only comes from you taking calculated risks, moving in the direction of your desires and what you truly want, and being able to differentiate and discern that this is an unhealthy desire, and this is a healthy desire that I can actually manifest and I can pull through, right, in my day-to-day. -day. I started watching a lot of red pill coaches at a certain point, where my masculine brain became so absorbed in that content that I actually rebelled against it at times and it created a weird dichotomy in my head, right? I was still trying to balance and juggle concepts rather than actually be, being an alpha, right? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I was consuming the information that I thought I needed to consume as a young man, forgetting that I have my truth, my purpose, my wisdom, my power, the spiritual lineage that I belong to, an amazing family, right? I started to recognize that later. But in the beginning, I just got sidetracked, right? Just one thing to another thing, another thing, another thing. It wasn't until I got very deeply entrenched in my spiritual journey and I linked up with Ryan G and we started this thing, right? And we really started to gain a momentum. A momentum of what? Channeling every single day. Channeling every single day. Okay? So I was tuning into different energies, different spirits every single day. I was listening to different harmonics and frequencies that would adjust and rewire my brain. I was essentially using self-hypnosis and brainwashing myself to win. Okay. Now, there are times where you can overdo this as well, right? Just keep listening, keep listening, not taking action, keep listening, not taking action, creating a psychic reservoir of this resistance. So my advice to you is just go out there and experience yourself out in the world, in front of others, connecting with others, loving others, making money from a place that's not siphoning energy from others, taking energy from others, but truly living in your dharma, living on path, living on Tao, okay? Connecting with that invisible flow state spirit. This is why we say, may the flow be with you, right? Because there's this invisible flow state spirit in the background that you can tap into. I know it and you know it. This is why you continue to watch this channel because I'm always tapped in, right? Not always, I wouldn't say I'm always tapped in, you know, some days are like, whatever, right? We are all like that. But I genuinely feel like I 
am in this state of complete improvisation that is connected to an extreme level of spontaneity and bliss. And I don't think I could have ever gotten here without doubling down on my spiritual journey, right? By just saying like, look, I'm just gonna do this, right? I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna be a spiritual teacher, right? And of course, the entire world came challenging me, right? Came after me to challenge me, okay? Push me to my edge. All my mentors called me out, put me on the spot. You know, family started to doubt me. What is he doing? Oh, he's doing this YouTube thing again? Oh, whatever, right? So all of these different things came from different angles. Though I was humbled and privileged to be at the life that I have, I was also held back, but I was also held back by a lot of my own thoughts. Because I, I, I'm an intellectual guy, man. I'm a heady guy, right? So I need to ground myself. Look at my feet right now, guys. Okay? Acupressure slippers. These hurt like a mofo. Okay? This is no joke. But this is how I live now. Because I've been able to heal my core wound. Do you guys understand how big of a statement that is? Some people are just gonna whisk this away. Others are really gonna get it. I healed one of my core traumas, guys. Energetically, your body shifts into the trauma that you believe that you have and that you have experienced in childhood. From zero to seven years old, you might have heard this, you know, scrolling YouTube sometime, but do you really reflect and look at it? I give each of my students and clients this quiz to find out their core wound. And I do this because it's like going all the way to the origin point of where your first trauma began, right? And that formed a trauma split, creating a split of your identity almost. Creating a split, let's say for example, freedom and love. So when you feel like you have freedom, you don't feel loved. When you feel like you're loved or in love, you don't feel free. For me, it was a split between survival and needs. So I constantly felt like I don't belong here. I don't want to exist here anymore, right? I even got suicidal at one point. But what broke me out of this pattern was when I was in Bali, I healed my core wound very deeply with the concept of the Makara. So the Makara, the imagery of the sea monster of the Hindu Vedas actually helped me to heal one of my core wounds. Some of you don't know this story, right? Some of you are just like, oh yeah, he just stopped. He just wants to be a sea monster, bro. I don't know, he's just a fucking weird, like a 30 year old man who wants to be a sea monster. Listen, the Makara, the imagery of the Makara, the symbol guarding the front of the temples, protecting the spiritual lineage and the flow state disciplines that I knew and I studied my entire life, right? I dedicated my entire life to flow state, to a state of consciousness. When we were in Bali, I, under, I had this visualization, this deep visualization. Also, I did a weird bathtub ritual where we put candles there and then all the water disappeared. Besides that weirdness, I got this visual. These claws of a sea monster digging itself into the earth, giving me the perfect demonstration of what the divine masculine really is, okay? This symbolism was so profound that I got chills through my entire spinal cord, okay? Vajra lightning flowing through me. And once I realized that the Makara is trying to adopt me, and Ryanji had a similar experience where Lord Varuna was trying to adopt him spiritually, I mean, not actually, like a spiritual son, you know? It was such a beautiful moment and recognition and understanding that I started to notice, man, okay, maybe I am getting my power back. Maybe this is what I'm meant to do. When I was in Bali, man, it was so effortless, so effortless because I spoke to everybody. But not only that, I had faced my fears. So I had a drowning incident as a kid 
where I almost drowned, right? And this guy saved me. This is like in kindergarten sometime, right? This was like when I was in uh, ISB still, right? I was in Thailand at the time. And um, I remember that it affected me greatly. So I'd always been kind of afraid of the water and water sports and all this stuff. And in that event, he brought along Joey and it was an amazing event, but mostly I was pushed to be in the water. I even scuba dove, right? <laughs> I even went into the water. I did the jet skis. I did all of that stuff. Why? Because I know I could. Even then, I don't have this thing for driving. I never really learned how to drive. I mean, I know how to drive, obviously, but it's like I never really spent time driving in my life, right? I've had chauffeurs my entire life. So when I was in Bali, we got ATVs, jet to drive. So I broke through all of these baggages, like these different things holding me back, right? In the background of my mind, my subconscious was giving me things to release, to let go, to understand that you are being initiated right now into this path working, right? That was the first time I met Ryan G in person. Guess where we met? We met because we had the same mentors, okay? Both connected to social dynamics. Okay, Vince Kelvin, one of the top seduction artists, AZD Arash Zapar Bazaar, one of the great top, 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 top relationship and seduction coaches, right? So we knew the game, we knew the tech, we knew how to understand it, but we knew also that there's a different way of going about this. There's something missing from this art form, okay, of social dynamics. Okay, real spiritual dynamics. We're creating the Jeet Kune Do of spirituality. We're understanding that you can create your own path with your own chakra points, creating all of these deities and guides that can support you upward, spiral gang to infinity and beyond. So how do you reverse your downward spiral? You gotta double down on your spiritual path. It's that simple. If you feel like you need to take a trip somewhere to help you to expand this journey, you feel like you need to connect with some individual that's going to help you expand this journey if you feel that there is something within me that is pulling me towards exactly the type of person that i need to be and i know i need to double down on this now go and do it absolutely look at this as a sign you're watching this video right now as a sign that you need to do this you need to do this you know there's something in the back of your mind sitting there you know you're still ruminating on it for day after day. Like maybe, I don't know, kind of, and that hesitation, we gotta cut through that hesitation. We gotta cut through that hesitation, why? Because you are a samurai, you are here to serve. You are a warrior monk. You are not just here for the lazy kind of spirituality where you just kind of sit around and like, om all day. You're here for dynamic meditation. Your life is the meditation. Your life is the prayer. Your life is the sadhana. Let's show up with a greater amplification for our spiritual paths. And let's do it in the correct way. The way that you most want to do it, right? The way that you want to show up in this world. The way that you want to shine in this world. So the moment you have people question, I used to have blonde hair, right? In my old videos, you saw? That was me also embracing and healing my traumas you guys don't even know that oh yeah he's just trying to be cool you get blonde hair as an indian guy listen man i was trying to be slim shady because when i was younger i used to rap battle and used to have that you know bleached blonde hair you guys remember that okay and his energy was the energy that I wanted because his verbal assassination could take on anybody, right? And I could resonate with that journey of him choking on the mic, right? Not being able to speak because it was the same me choking on stage when I would perform on stage, right? I got that. I need to embody that. That Mars energy need to be flowing through me at that young age, right? I also published books at a young age, guys. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that I'm a child prodigy and all this kind of stuff, right? Because that's just pretentious. I don't want to do that, you know? But I do want you to realize that this path is way more significant than you think it is. Because yesterday, 
my dad told me the origin of my name, Sumed. It comes from Sumedha, which is the past life of Gautama Buddha. And if you look up the story, you can YouTube it, you can find it, Sumedha and Dipankara. Look it up, that's how you know me. Because I have been in the mud and I'm out of the mud now, okay? Two, praise the electric energy of the Buddha. Not only that, connected to Shiva, all of these other entities that I work with, Janus, who gave me an incredible epiphany into flow state, because he taught me that it is only through merit you're gonna be more and more tapped in. Through virtuous action, you're gonna be more and more tapped in. You see? So every single time that I felt like I couldn't do it, I can't make it, there was some hesitation, there was some protection, some kind of principle in the back of my mind, some doctrine protecting me, preserving me, keeping me moving forward, and I'm pretty sure it was the family of deities that I work with today, okay? But I had no clue, I had no intuition, I couldn't tap into this as a man, right? I understood that the feminine energy has this oracle essence and they're highly intuitive and they can decipher codes and men's faces and their little micro expressions. I guess I could do that too, right? As an introverted kid growing up, I didn't speak much. My throat chakra was blocked, right? Now you can hear it, it's very open, right? It's very open, I can speak openly like this without even worrying who's watching me or who's walking past, who cares? This is my message, this is my mission. And this is what I want you to experience too. I want you to double down on this right now because enough is enough and you truly deserve the greatest life ever. Don't settle for less. Double down on what you know to be true. Let's get it upwards, Spiral Gang. May you never be the same again. Hit that like and subscribe button, man. We're all here to win. May the flow be with you.